96.3, 100.5 WLIB, live and local. Been a busy morning, and now we're finally getting to <laughs> Sumter County business. A lot of things going on, especially with COVID-19. Commissioner Marcus Campbell is here. Uh, Commissioner Campbell, give us an update on what's happening with Sumter County's response to COVID-19. Well, D.C., since COVID-19 has been in effect during the middle of March to date, we have had 279 confirmed cases here in Sumter County. Over 1,365 citizens have been tested, and we have 13 deaths here in Sumter County. I tell you what, through it all, we've been blessed through it all to be able to test so much. And the volume of testing here in Sumter County has been magnificent. And I just appreciate all of the different agencies who have helped us in a tremendous way from Mark Watley Health Service our local hospital, Hill Hospital, Brian Whitfield out of Demopolis, and the University of Alabama. So regards to the deaths and to the number of positive cases, still we are asking citizens to please follow the CDC guidelines. We have some upcoming testing going on that will start on July the 9th for this month. July the 9th from 9 until 12 noon, we will be at the hospital in York. Also on July the 14th, we will be at the Morningstar Baptist Church in Cuba, Alabama from 9 to 12. Mark Watley Health Service will be doing the testing there. On Tuesday, July the 21st from 9 to 12, we will be at the Bethel Pine Baptist Church in Cortoba. And Mark Watley will be doing that testing as well. And then on Thursday, July the 23rd, 9 to 12, ML at the ML City Hall. And again, Watley will be doing that testing as well. And then each and every Friday, Anyone can go to the Sumter County Health Department, but they need to call and make an appointment to pre-register, and they can call 205-652-7972. The main thing is if you feel that you need to be tested, if you've been exposed or have any of those symptoms, go ahead and get tested because, again, this virus is serious, D.C. I know a lot of communities, including Tuscaloosa, has uh, passed a mask mandate, and they're going to do it for 30 days. Last week, didn't the Sumter County Commission meet and you discuss the possibility? Is that still an option, or are you, are you just playing a wait-and-see attitude right now? Well, D.C., what we did, we passed two resolutions on last week. What we did, we had an emergency meeting on last Monday, and we passed two resolutions. One was to the governor to ask her to mandate citizens in Sumter County to wear a mask, and the other one was one where, as we are encouraging citizens to wear a mask from the county commission. We've been blessed by the governor, our Association of County Commissioners, Executive Director, Sonny Brassfield, Brassfield has arranged for us to have 13,000 masks, five masks per citizens here in Sumter County. So that was big. I'm grateful to Sonny, to the governor, and our EMA Director, Mrs. Margaret Bishop Gully for the work that they've done to ensure that we've been out passing them out. I'm sure tonight if someone would need one, we will definitely do our best to have some on hand. But citizens here in the city of Livingston can go to the city hall. Our other commissioners are getting them out in their respectable districts. So any citizen in Sumter County need a mess. If you just need to call me at 205-499-6015, you can do that. We just want to make sure that you cover up and practice the social guidelines that have been enforced. And, you know, I've been looking as I've been out in Sumter County, and I've got to say I applaud the citizens of the community because a lot of people are adhering to the guidelines and, and wearing masks, so good for them. Um, as far as Sumter County, uh, when you go to the tag office, tax collector, uh, social distancing guidelines are in effect there too? Absolutely. Once we open back up on June the 1st, we made sure we would have those procedures in line. And I want to commend our sheriff and our chief deputy, Sheriff Harris, chief deputy Finch, and all of our wonderful people that work in the courthouse. Our tax collector, Ms. Anna Ruth Wilson, has been doing an outstanding job, her and her staff, to make sure that our citizens are getting the necessaries that they need. Even before she was making arrangements, taking phone calls, calling people and telling them what direction to take before we open back up. So we've been blessed to be able to do a lot of upgrades in our courthouse and our pro probate office and other county buildings to make sure that our citizens are protected and our county officials and employees are protected. So 
anytime if anyone needs to go over to the courthouse, probate office, or any other county services, they can go ahead and do that. Essential services did not quit. The commission annex, road department, and, of course, our sheriff department, they were continuing to go on, going on, EMA director. So we are just doing the work that needs to be done, and we're encouraging citizens to please, if you need to visit one of those buildings, please go in with your mask on. You will not be able to enter without a mask. You need to have your mask, and also you will begin your temperature check there before you enter in as well. The second big subject on everybody's mind here is the 2020 census. We need to get those numbers up. And tonight, you're going to be doing some census sign-up at the Fireworks in Livingston, right? Absolutely. And it's going to be big. A great show, a great time for family and friends to come out and enjoy themselves and watch the lights in the sky. Scott, just sky up and shoot up and bright lights here in the big city of Livingston in Sumter County. But our 2020 census are so valuable. Just in an early conversation, I know we were having D.C. during a break. Our response rate right now is at 40.2 percent, and we're reaching to surpass 80 percent. A lot of work is needed to be done, so I'm asking you all who are listening in to please ask someone if they have done their census. They can do it three ways. Mail it in, go online, or either call 844-330-2020. But it's imperative that they do what they need to do. We have people in place around Sumter County that can get them signed up. We're talking about taking five minutes of your time where you've been able to get $1,567. So, And also, we just had this wonderful drawing where Mr. Anthony Taylor just won $100. So please, please get signed up for your 2020 census. All right, a call to action right now. This is what I want you to do. I want you to go to our Facebook page at WLYBFM. I want you to click on the WLYB TV link. Number one, you got to see how good Marcus looks on TV. And number two, at the bottom of the screen, at the bottom of the screen, you'll see two phone numbers that you can write down to get signed up. So you can't say, you know, we didn't hear the phone number. We couldn't find it. It's on the bottom of the screen. In fact, all the segments that we did this morning, the 2020 census sign up Sumter County numbers are at the bottom. So you can check out any video that we're going to upload later to be able to sign up, plus a chance to win $100 cash, and you don't have to take D.C. or M.C. to dinner, okay? You can spend the money any way you want it, and this will continue throughout next week. Once again, on, on the serious side, stop by the fireworks display. We'll get you signed up this evening. Also, uh, call us here at the radio station. Or if you see the hoopty on the road, stop us and say, hey, we need to get signed up for the census. I'll get you in touch with Ms. Deborah. Sydney, uh, Commissioner Armistead, Marcus Campbell, everyone out there. And once again, it's five minutes. The census does not use your personal information. It's not going to jeopardize your financial assistance. It is just statistical information, which means more money for schools, roads, construction in Sumter County. So this is very, very important, Marcus. It it is, D.C., and I'm glad that you touched on that because – Everyone needs to know anytime you want all of these critical services here in Sumter County, there's a part that we have to play. And we know billions of dollars are at stake every 10 years. So, again, as you just mentioned, schools, roads and bridges, health care, EMA services, so many different avenues of having parks and other recreation activities for all of our citizens. We want to make it better for the people who are coming along. Ten years from now, this won't be back until 2030. So we want to do everything that we can now to improve and make things better. So I'm encouraging everyone that is listening in, go out and check. Ask your family members. Ask your friends. Have you done your census? You need to do them because if you don't sign up, don't complain. It's important just to do what you need to do. Again, we will have until October the 31st to sign up. The deadline has been extended to then. But I'm encouraging each and every Sumter County to do their part. Take it upon yourself and then take it upon yourself to ask your family members and friends. If this is someone you're talking to every day, please just interject the census in that conversation and make sure that you do your part to be counted here in Sumter County. All right, and tonight the fireworks are going to be hot. Yes, very hot in very Sumter hot. County. It's gonna, Sumter County is going to be a very, very beautiful place to be, not just tonight, each and every day. So come on over to the county, Sumter County, that is, and hang out with D.C. He will be on the wheels of steel doing the thing, and we just appreciate you, D.C., for what all you do for Sumter County and all around West Alabama and East Mississippi. It's going to be hot 
tonight. We'll see you at the Livingston <laughs> Civic Center with the one and the only MC. Stop DC. by and say hi. Get signed up for the 2020 Census with LYB. Yes, do that. <laughs>